to have my dad teach me how to read the plans and understand them more because in the videos I've been like yeah I know what you're talking about but inside my brain I'm like uh, what the heck are you talking about uh, what's going on so we're going to review the plans and learn how to read them better and understand let's get started Catherine, we're going to talk today about how to read the plans I went back and looked at some of our videos and I realized after watching the videos that a lot of the times you would just say yes and inside your eyes and your ears you're going I have no idea what you're saying so we're going to practice reading the plans today so I found a good page that helps us line parts up on the plans with real parts. So it's kind of like a puzzle. What else do you build that has instructions and has pieces? I think they're crates. Your tinker crates? You also have... Tinker crates, not tinker crates. Tinker. Tinker crates. What about Legos? Oh yeah. Do Legos have instructions? Yes, they do. How many times do you take your pieces and look at your pieces and turn around your parts to go, hey, this is what it's actually supposed to look like to make sure you're building it right? Multiple. Multiple times. So, put this piece on the plans and figure out which piece it is. Yeah, you found it. But the way you do that is you set it on the piece to go look. It is exactly how the piece fits. Just oh. like that. And well, can, I did it by reading this. You read the instructions off the plans and you read the label <laughs> on the back of the plans. But now that we've identified it, we can see this piece goes here. And here is a different view. See how there's two views of the piece? Mm -hmm. Here's another way. There's this piece, here's another view, and here's another view. So we'll set this piece down right here too. Here is another piece. Where does that one go? You got it. Here is another piece. This is a trick piece. features see almost like a pyramid has a big hole in it mm -hmm. it's kind of small does that look familiar Okay, so we found the spot that it looks like, but is it the correct piece? Yes. The left hand is opposite the right hand. The right hand, so this says left hand, but if you put this piece up here, because that's how the plans work. See how we take this piece and move it to here? This line right here should be on this side. Hmm. Can we make this piece with the line on this side still line up? No, because mm -hmm. then it would be like that. And that's backwards. So that's why it's a trick piece. That's why we have to be really careful when we look at our pieces. I have more pieces for you to solve. Hmm. 
good job. Good job. Good job. I don't think this piece is on here. You are correct. That piece is not on there. Not this piece. Is that that one's not either. How are we able to tell? Because I don't see anything like it. Yeah, there you go. So now we've been able to observe the pieces on the plans and figure out what the real piece looks like and we can compare it by looking this way. And then if we look at it like that, it is the same that way too. Does that make sense? Cool. So now, if I'm talking about the plans with you and we're looking to find parts and pieces and you don't understand, can you say, hold on, let's make the piece fit or let's compare it so we can make sure we have the right one so you understand too. Okay. Cool. So now that we're looking at this piece, we found the start of this piece. That's how it goes, right? But do we have the bolts? We don't have the bolts. We're going to have to drill big holes in this. And that means we've also got a piece right here. Does it go this way? Does that fit correctly? Mm. Nope. Mm -mm. Does that fit correctly now? Mm. Mm. Yes. So we've got to make this piece from a block. And it's going to have to be very carefully drilled. We're going to have to use the drill press over in the corner to do that. So we've got some work to do on that one. Question, what's yes. a drill press? The drill press is the drill that has the big handle on it that we pull down like this to make the drill go down. So instead of drilling like oh. this, it's the big tall standing one that we use to be very precise with our holes in really hard stuff. Oh. And trust me, drilling through a block of metal that thick is gonna be hard stuff. I knew that. Yeah, cool. So over here, we've got this piece we look at it like this, and we look at it like this. Do we have those bolt holes drilled? Mm -mm. Nope. Do we have those bolt holes drilled? Which ones? So those are the same ones right there. But then as we come up here, what about that one that comes straight across, straight through? Nope, we don't have mm -hmm. that one drilled either. So what that means, that one is there, it's the alignment. But what oh, that means yeah. <laughs> what that means is we got to make this piece as well and here's the instructions up in the corner for how to make that block hmm. and then there's an extra piece that we've already highlighted in yellow it's called a shim a shim is so it keeps it off of this curve in the metal so if you look at the inside of that metal you see how it's got the curve right there mm -hmm. if we put a square corner in that block like this, can we make that line up and keep everything touching? Mm -hmm. Nope. So what we do is we cut the corner off at an angle and we put a shim. So putting a shim will do something. This is not our shim. But putting a shim in there will do something like this so we still have a flat surface. And see how much closer we're able to make that? So when we cut that corner off to make our block, we have to look for details like that in the plans so we make sure we build the parts right and we don't have anything with gaps. Oh. So when we get done building these parts, before we actually put them into the wing, what we're gonna do is come and compare our parts to the plans to make sure we got all the stuff done. Make okay. sense? Cool. All right, so now, what do we learn about parts and pieces and plans? Well, if you're not sure what piece it actually is, you can take the piece and look at the plans, line it up, and see if it's the correct piece. Mm -hmm. And you can also see what you need to do to the piece in order to build the rest of the plane and connect it to here. Mm -hmm. And it also, sh it also, you can 
compare it to the plants to see if you've done it correctly or not. Exactly. Good job. I think we got better communication on that one. You understand what's going on better, huh? Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, now it's time to get to work. <laughs>